How's it going out there, folks? I'm Don. We're up for a treat today for the simple reason that the artist himself, Aaron Walker, PM'd me and private messaged me and asked me to react to this song. And that's what I'm doing. So this is always very cool. I love interacting with the artists. I mean, my now ex-wife and I, we used to own a dance school, a large and advanced ballet and modern dance school for 20 years. I'm not a dancer. I was on the business customer relations side, but I was in the artist's world and in the artist's mindset and the perfectionistic mindset and how the creative process works. And so anytime I interact with the artists, I love it. I sort of have some insight into their worlds and respect the hell out of them. So Aaron, shout out to you. Let's see what we got here. What are we doing? You requested a new release uh, titled The One I'll Miss. So here we go. Is this a video or just a song? Let me see. Oh, it's a video. Try to stay out of the way. All right, I'm going to comment at this point because we're about halfway through it. And this is very interestingly done because normally the heartache part is brought in by now. And the intrigue is building because I don't know where he's going to go. You can do so many things with words and the one I'll miss. Maybe it's the fear. It could turn out to be it's just the fear of the one he would miss if the relationship didn't stay together. But it did. I mean, that's just one example of a bifurcation or path that it could take. Maybe the relationship ends, you know, I don't know. But, um, and also, I love the scenery. I don't know where this is shot. I mean, I'm looking at this image here. I mean, and now it doesn't look like North Carolina. Gee, I don't know. I mean, I've never been in the hills of Texas, the mountain, like the hill country of Texas. So maybe it's there. Could be Oklahoma. Could be Arkansas. All right, here we go. Can we pretend everything's all right? Go back in time that first night when you told me you had never looked like this. Can we pretend? But 
things are right Go back in time to that first night When you told me This isn't a real story, but if it is, man, oh, uh, man, now you got me going. I, I mean, you heard my initial thought was, I hope this. Uh, I mean, she passed, obviously, in the song. The name, you know, the child's name is different than your last name, Aaron. But in any case, I'm just going to take this as a work of art. I'm not going to rate it, though, in the event that this does happen to be a real-life story. Um, the writers were not you. So, you know, but, it, you know. But, yeah, I mean, that's one of those stories in life you just don't want to have happen to people, you know. And I know, like, I mean, I'm a life coach, and you don't need to be that to know how hard this world is. But, I mean, as I've gotten older, of course, in life, the more I see what people live with, and I see what the younger folk, you know, I see they're going to get married. They're 25, 28 years old. They're going to get married. They're in love. And you're like, oh, my God, it is such a good feeling to be in love like that. Like Aaron, like this song depicted, that first kiss and what she said and how we loved like that. And you want that to last. And people say, you know, the honeymoon won't last forever. And no, it doesn't in that regard. You get on with the business of life and the challenges and raising children if you have them and paying mortgages and whatever else we do and trying to keep your spouse happy, trying not to annoy them. We guys can be annoying, you ladies can be annoying, and then try to get through all that. But life's hard. It just, you know, we all search for the meaning to it, you know. Whether we're theologically oriented or not, we want to find meaning that satisfies us as we're going through it. But when you lose somebody that you love, it's whether it's divorce or death. I mean, I just submitted an article to... A very well-known publication today hoping to get it published that talked about divorce and a friend of mine first spouse died he got remarried years later and then they got divorced and he said that divorce was far more painful and you're like holy cow you know just seeing what people live with but I love the scenery though and the girl in the video the woman was very pretty lady and it was cute to see the kid you know she looked to be about five come running down the hill uh, and all that. But Aaron, thanks for reaching out. I'm not going to rate it out of respect for it could be a real story of somebody you know, um, or maybe somebody wrote it in honor of you. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to leave it be. So leave your comments for Aaron, guys. I'm sure he'll see him. There it is, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Hug the ones you love, too. Mm -hmm.